Hi, this is Marie, World Peace Knits, episode 53. So I have lots of crochet projects, of knitting projects, so I can't wait to go ahead and just get started. The first thing I have is a, um, a crocheted, I'm just going to look at my notes down below, a crochet striped bag by Perot Yarn Company. And I'll put the pattern below. Also, I'll link it in the notes below. I used a single strand of worsted. I believe the pattern called for um, two strands to be held together. I used a size H hook 5.0. And this is how it turned out. So it's like you make this giant granny square and then you make it um, into a bag and you line it. So it's super cute, I love it. I went ahead and made um, these leaves and I just put a palm right there with them just as decoration. But um, so the pattern is kind of, it's it's like it was in uh, a different language originally and um, it's charted. And so it's kind of up to you to figure out what you think it means. So it's a little bit tricky. I think the next time I do it, I'll do it slightly differently. But I really like how mine turned out. You can just put tons of stuff in it. You can buy the... Um, the rings on Amazon. I bought like a three pack of three different um, sets. So, and they're inexpensive on Amazon. And I think I'll make it again, trying it at, with a different interpretation. Because I realize now um, that I think it's, I did it slightly different than the way that other people had done it. But I really love it. It's so cute. And you can line it with any fabric that you want. And I just lined it with a sewing machine and a zigzag. So it was really easy. I just thought I really like it. It's cute for fall. Okay. So the next thing, and I just used scraps on that. So it was cool. Okay, so the next thing is, oh, okay. I was contacted by a yarn company called um, Darn Good Yarn. And they wanted to do a collaboration. And they sent me two skeins of Alana sock yarn right here. And um, I was just looking to see. They were 130 yards each. And I used them to make this hat. It's so cute. And it's um, the sock head hat. And I really like how it turned out. So it was like this was one skein of 130 and then this is the second skein. But it really turned out cute. I love the way it's striped. And I love the yarn. I mean, it's really nice. It's a it's a, like a, you know, standard sock yarn base. So if you're interested in checking out their uh, Alana sock yarn or any other of their yarns, I'll go ahead and put a link down below um, to their site and you can go check it out. Okay, and so the next thing, also I have some more yarn coming from them for another project. So if you're interested to see what it looks like and what I do with it, I'm going to go ahead and post it on Instagram. And my Instagram is just world peas, so zero zero. And so go over there and join me uh, to see what they send me next. So that's kind of exciting. All right, so the next thing that I made just looking at my notes, was with this opal sock yarn. And it was in a Halloween colorway. I really thought it was so cute for, for the holiday. And I made these socks. And this is just um, knit socks. The color is 2266. And I used a size 2, 2.75 needle. And I used uh, Lala's Afterthought heel pattern. I just love the way they turned out. I did 64 stitches, two by two rib at the top. And then I did an Afterthought heel. So it's so cute. I love them. All right. The next thing is, oh, okay. Um, the Snuggle Down Cowl by Jewels Hill. She is uh, So Sweet Violet. And um, I love this pattern. So I had some hand spun that I made like a big, um, almost like it was the size of a small baby. It was a lot of hand spun. This is what I had left over. 
when it was in the skein. It was just like this big thing. And I used this hand spun to make this snuggle down cowl. This is how it turned out. And I love it. It's so cute. I'll go ahead. Her pattern is so nice. You can make it as long as you want. You just keep doing the repeat. And I thought this would be fun for, um, for winter when it's really cold out. Um, I love it. Also, my hand spun had a little bit of sparkle in it. I don't know that it's coming across, but it's really cute. You have to try this pattern. It is a pay for pattern, but she is a great designer, so you have to check her out. All right, the next thing that I have on my list is um, this Christmas hat I made. So it is a little crazy. <laughs> I got this yarn at a, like, a, it was like a holiday yarn trade. And so you went to this yarn store and we kind of swapped yarns that we weren't in love with anymore. And you got like a box of someone else's yarn that they weren't in love with anymore, basically. This was in my box that I got. And it had these weird dingle balls kind of on it. I mean, it is a little crazy. And Christmas colors. So I thought I would pull this out and make it for someone. It's going to be like a crazy Christmas hat that you'll get. And you'll be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so so I am going to give it as a gift to someone. Um <laughs> But it's by Palma Yarn, and so it just has little palms on it. So I thought I would, I kind of was curious to see how it would knit up into a hat. And so I cast on 96 stitches, and I knit it with a size 6 needle, and I knit a rib, a 2x2 two two rib. And then I changed to a size 7 needle. And the colorway is 106 Tango, in case you were looking for it. <laughs> I don't think you'll find it, because it's... It's so special. But anyway, so it it just knits up with these balls in random locations. And then there's even one ball in the palm in the, the palm ball. <laughs> so so it's a little crazy, but um but someone's gonna get it for Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's moving on. <laughs> there's lots more crochet and knitting to have. Uh there's lots more crochet and knitting, so don't worry about that. All right, so the next thing that I have is a a sock head hat. And this one, okay, this one, I love this. This is um, Crazy Zalbawal, and it's called Garden Party. It's a, I used a U.S. size 3, 3.25 uh, needle. I knit it, and here is how it turned out. So soft and cute. I love the way Crazy Zauber Ball stripes. And I put a palm on it. <laughs> and you know what? I got those Grocery Girls palms that they were selling. I really like their palms because they come with... They're on a ribbon, first of all. And then you can just tie um, it through this little... Um, it's kind of like a neoprene kind of button. And it keeps the palm tight it's really nice then you can just untie it wash it and then put the put the palm back on it so it's it's nice so I'll go ahead and put it on to show it to you this is what it looks like this is a slouchy zelber ball um, hat and I really like it you can fold the brim up it's like super slouchy I've made this pattern tons of times. And it's the sock head hat. I love it. Now, it doesn't look right exactly because I have this little rubber band in my hair, but, but it's so cute. I love it. I love this pattern. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the next thing that I have is, okay, so I did some scrappy um, scrappy spiral pattern by in their wristers by Kate Celine, and I'll put that down below. And this is what they look like. So I made these before um, on my last on my last uh, podcast. I made a pair with just total scraps, like scrappy minis. And this pair I made with one ball of this Manny Petty. 
by Lion Brand, and it, I love the way it turned out. I mean, it's, it doesn't, they don't match exactly, but they're really cute. This is what I had left of one ball, so you can do quite a bit with this. These, I, th I believe this is like a 50 gram ball, so. It is in the mitten colorway. Yeah, Mitten 605 is the color in case you're looking for it. So I'll go ahead and just try them on. I do love this pattern. And I didn't make them with any thumb holes. I just made them so, so I could just wear them like longer sleeves you know, when you get cold and you're outside walking or whatever. Since we're still at home, I'm working from home. All right, so that's what they look like. They're really cute, I love them. I love that pattern, it's really cute. I used, I cast on 64 stitches, I used a 2.75 millimeter needle. Um, 605 is the colorway number and um, I'll link that pattern down below in the notes the um, scrappy spiral pattern by Kate Celine so you should check it out it's really fun to knit all right so the next thing I have is uh, oh some pumpkins okay so everyone's making <laughs> crochet pumpkins or knit pumpkins really and so I thought I wanted to try to make one I used um, I used a pattern, it's called, um, off of a YouTube video, it's called um, Bella Coco Crochet um, video on YouTube, and I'll link that down below in the notes, and this is how it turned out, it's so cute, and super easy, I made, I made t three for myself, and I made two for Sue, and Sue's gonna, and I sent the pattern to Sue and she's gonna make some, so we're on it. So this is like, this is how they turned out. They were super fast to make too. And I just filled them with um, polyfill. And then you just, um, I crocheted these, but you could, there's lots of knit patterns out there too. Here's another one. Oh my gosh. But I wanted to make like a little grouping, you know? Like, oh, I don't know. Like maybe like that, I don't know. But I thought they would be cute, and um, I love them. <laughs> All right, so the next thing, I used uh, Vintage Barocco. So these are the yarns that I used. This is some yarn for my stash for the smaller pumpkins. Oops, like that. And then I used, um, this is what I used for this larger pumpkin. I use some Red Heart Boutique Treasure. So this was just in my in my uh, stash. So, and I had this much left from the ball. So I mean, they're pretty easy to make. You should totally try it. On um, so she said that you could hers were hers that she made on the video were all like about this size. I used twenty to start on my chain for this smaller sized one. This might be helpful. And um, I think she used like 16 to start, so hers would be just even a little bit smaller than this. <clears throat> and then my larger ones, I, ch I started with a chain of 31. So in case you're trying to duplicate the sizes that I made, um, let me just see. I think that's everything about the, the pumpkins. Yeah, and I, I did knit an I-cord for, I started off knitting an I-cord for the stem, but you can just crochet, like in the later pumpkins, I just crocheted like a little circle and I kind of, of like six stitches, and I kind of just kept going with it. She has a version of how to make the stem with a crocheted I-cord, it's a little tricky looking, and I thought, well, it's not really rocket science, I'm just going to do something quick. <laughs> so that's what I did. All right, so the next thing I have is, oh, a crochet beanie. So this one, um, I made it with ice yarn, a Rosetta worsted. I have a lot of this left over. This is the color uh, number 63453. 
six, three, four, five, three. Okay, I'll put that down below. And I'll link it. I'll link everything down below. And this is what Rosetta Worsted looks like. It is very nice. It's so soft. I love it. I have a lot left. Like, I could make a sweater for sure. So maybe that's what I'll make. Or maybe I'll make a blanket. I don't know. But this is the hat that I crocheted. And it, it crocheted up super quick. It is, um, let me see. It's a pattern that I found on YouTube by Bag o Day, which she's a YouTuber. And uh, it's, I'll link that down below also. It's called How to Crochet a Beanie Hat. So she has several of them for beanies. Um, this one was for like a, a DK kind of weight beanie. And it, it crocheted up really fast. I'm not gonna put it on, I'm not big into beanies. This is gonna be a gift. But I like slouchy hats more for myself. But this is really nice. I really like how it looks. It's kind of like in a star shape on the top or a little, it, it's a nice pattern. And it crocheted up so quick, I love it. All right. I used a um, size eye hook, 5.5 millimeter. All right, so the next thing is works in progress. So I have um, a crochet and a knit work in progress to show you. So the first thing is a V-stitch uh, stripe blanket. So I had this, this is a work in progress I had from like last fall and I pulled it back out because it was so hot I didn't wanna work on it during the summer. But um, it's called uh, Crochet Yourself Calm. This is the book that I got the pattern in and really is just a pattern book like on how to make certain stitches. So this is V-stripe that's the stitch that I used for the blanket. And I think you could probably Google it and find it anywhere online. So this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and stand up. It's not done yet, but I love it. It's not done yet, but it is, it's coming along. I wanted to make it big enough so that it could cover you know from head to or from your shoulders to your toes but I love it isn't it cute <sighs> so I used two strands of different ice yarns to make it one one was this and it is Picasso and it's in this colorway it's like a rainbow Picasso. It's, um, I'll put it down below and I'll also link it down below. So it's 65214 and I love this colorway. This is what it looks like in the ball. Looks like that. And so what I did was I did one stripe in the Picasso and then one stripe in the Softly Baby and the Softly Baby that I used is this colorway, is 42370, and I'll link that down below as well if you're looking for it. You should try it, totally. I love the way it's turning out. It's super cute. Okay, so hopefully I can get that done by the next uh, podcast. Okay, so the next thing I have is a little project in this little cute snowman bag. So I've been working on this. This is a pair of fingerless mitts. Get the yarn out. Here's the cake. It's by Brazen Stitchery. It's called Fairy Lights. And I love how it's knitting up. So I'm just making a pair of slouchy fingerless mitts. There it is. I love the way they dye the yarn. Let's see. Now there's two ladies that, that dye for, for uh, brazen stitchery. This one was dyed by Penny. So you should go check out them. Um, they're on Instagram. 
They have uh, lots of Insta, Insta stories where they show, you know, different yarns that they're working on. And sometimes I see them dying on uh, Insta, in the Insta stories. But this is it. It's so cute. I used uh, size 2.75 uh, needles. I did 64 stitches. And then it's just going to be some slouchy fingerless mitts. I love them. Okay. All right. So the next thing that I have is coffee and tea corner. And I have two coffees that I um, love. Pumpkin Love, I showed this before. I think this one is still my favorite of the pumpkin coffees. This one's from Super Target. I did see it at um, King Supers also. And then I got this one I've been drinking as well. This one's from Good and Gather. This is the Target brand, Pumpkin Spice. This is good. It's really good. And then my mom sent me a whole bunch of little Starbucks pumpkin spice uh, K cups. So I'm using those as well. The teas that I've been drinking are Vanilla Almond by the Republic of Tea and Downton Estate Blend, which is also another vanilla black tea. It's really delish by the Republic of Tea. So that is Coffee and Tea Corner. So I do have a couple of things that I got in the mail I was gonna share with you real quick. I got this yarn from Kate Celine. It's so cute. Her yarn is just, look at that. Look at the, the colors in it. I can't wait to knit it up. So this one is called Rainbow Sherbert. And then I also got a little Christmas. This is her interpretation of a Christmas uh, mini pack. And I love it. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I can't recall exactly what this particular mini, they, she had several different Christmas mini packs, but I can't wait to knit something with this. So, and then she sent this little free freebie. So that's cute. All right. And the, the last thing that I have is um, the Denver Crew Projects. I'll go ahead and put that up next. And then I'll put in my neighbor Sue's projects. <laughs> you know what? She makes another one of those uh, pocket uh, shawls. And she makes it a little bit narrower. And then she makes another one in different color, in a different color. So she's made, I think this will be her fourth one. So and then she has a scarf. Uh, and, uh, Hillary has a lovely, oh my gosh, big granny blanket that she's been making. So, and then Jaina has some, some special crochet items as well. All right. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.